Today we're gonna see all the different possible sources of shooter attack in the game and then we're also gonna calculate the current maximum possible shooter attack. So let's get right into it. There are investments that give you 67% shooter attack, hitman services give you 103%, Family businesses give you a total of 560% if you add all the shooter attack that you get from all 6 families. There's family reputation that gives you 55% shooter attack. Crew rank gives you 45%. Then there's leader equipment. For leader equipment, you'll be using the full legendary set except for the legendary gun because in place of the legendary gun, you'll be using the Zenith's gun. This combination will give you a total of 247.31% after you add the 149% multiplier buff. And then there's the alteration attributes. The legendary pieces give you 18% more shooter attack, while the Zenith's gun gives you only 12%. So that's a total of 102%. Plus if you add the 49% multiplier buff that applies to alteration attributes, that number goes up to 151.98%. Then there's the enrichment buff. Since you're using the Zenith's gun, you only get 10% from enrichment instead of 15%. Then you have the Godfather's watch, which gives you 15% as its basic attribute. You get 25% from its alteration buffs, 7.6% from its multiplier buff, and an extra 15% from augmentation. Then you have the Poison Ivy Roadster, which gives you 28% as its basic buff and another 28% from its alteration buffs. Then you have Roadster Armaments. For this, you'll be using the full Silver Fury set, which gives you a total of 161.55% after you add the 10% buff that you get from Hitman Services. Then there are Emblems. For the 5 legendary pieces that you have, you'll be using the normal Shooter Attack Emblem, the Storm Shooter Emblem that gives you 25% Shooter Attack, and two Duo Emblems that give you 12.5% each. For the one Zenith piece that you're using and your Godfather equipment, you'll be using one Shooter Attack Emblem, and then three Duo Emblems that give you 12.5% Shooter Attack each. Now you get a 20% buff on the Emblems that you put on your equipment, and a 10% buff on the Emblems that you put on your Godfather's equipment because of Hitman Services. So after you add all of these buffs up, the total comes up to 565% shooter attack. Then you have the SVIP 10 buff that gives you 23% shooter attack. The SVIP store can give you up to 60% shooter attack because you get 4% per level and there are 15 SVIP store levels. The plantation store gives you 32% shooter attack. The skill tree gives you 45% and the season mastery tree gives you 27%. Then you have Clan Tower Decorations that give you 3% Shooter Attack. Vigilante Passive Skills can give you up to 595% Shooter Attack. I'll leave all of the Vigilantes that increased your Shooter Attack on the screen. Then you have Vigilante Active Skills. For this, you'll be using Maxed Out Ethan along with Maxed Out Lorenzo. Ethan gives you 50% Shooter Attack while Lorenzo gives you 60%, so that's a total of 110%. Then there's Vigilante Skins. For skins, you can get up to 68% more shooter attack. Again, I'll leave a list of all of the skins that give you shooter attack on the screen. Then you have Vigilante Equipment. For Vigilante Equipment, you'll be using the full Obliterator set that gives you 111.25% shooter attack. This is after including the 22% buff that you get from Hitman Services as well as an Elite 6 Pawnbroker. However, since you can use up to two Vigilantes in your march, that 111.25% goes up to 222.5%. Then you have Babes that give you a total of 962.8% Shooter Attack. Again, I'll leave a list of all the Babes that increase your Shooter Attack on the screen. You have Babe Dresses that give you 32% more Shooter Attack. There's Turf Skins that give you a total of 984% Shooter Attack. Turf effects can give you a total of 1,055% shooter attack. Combine ops effects can give you a total of 704% shooter attack. Then you have avatars that give you 27% more shooter attack. The Godfather's Monument can give you up to 229% more shooter attack. 
Then there's buildings, that is the Elite 6 shooter cam that gives you 10% more shooter attack. There are item buffs that can give you up to 45% more shooter attack. There's official buffs that can give you 73% more shooter attack. There's the newspaper buff that gives you 1% as well as the temporary babe buff that also gives you 1%. Then you have the unmatched title that gives you 8% more shooter attack. Clan badges can give you up to 3% more shooter attack. Collections can give you a total of 53% shooter attack. Medallions give you 5% shooter attack each. However, since you can equip up to 2 medallions at a time, that number goes up to 10. And finally, there is a vigilante training room that can give you up to 60% more shooter attack. So if you add all of these up, the maximum possible shooter attack currently in the game turns out to be 7527.74%. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. You can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.